Welcome back to the Hot to Bets Daily Pick Show for Thursday Night at Football here in week three of the 2021 NFL season. Got a all right game on slate for tonight. You know, it's it's football, it's NFL football, so it's gonna be good. So let's just jump right into it. I'm sorry, Ms. Jackson. Now for tonight's matchup, got the Panthers taking on the Texans. Panthers come into the game 2-0 and on the year. Texans 1-1. One and one. But biggest storyline going into this game, obviously no Tyrod Taylor for this Texans team. Goes out with a hamstring injury in that Browns game. So here on the short week, you know, really a, a very slim chance that he had any hope of playing. But looks like Davis Mills will be the likely starter here in this game. And honestly, I don't know that Mills is a huge downgrade from Tyrod Taylor. He obviously is, you know, going to be somewhat of a downgrade. Um, but I think he is more more incapable of you know leading this Texans team which let's be honest isn't the most talented roster in the world but um still a team that has looked fairly decent through two games for the Panthers two very impressive wins over the Jets and the Saints you know Sam Darnold has looked very good through the first two games of the season here in that Saints matchup thrown for 305 yards as well as two touchdowns and really you know getting out of New York has has seemed to be the the help for Sam Darnold going into this game granted he has a much better team around him here than he ever did with with the Jets, you know, Christian McCaffrey has the ability to make anyone on the field look very good. And um, seemingly they're they're doing that. But who cares what it is? The Panthers are winning football games right now. Um, and for this Panthers team, you know, it was a team that in the draft and really just in the offseason focused primarily on the defensive side of the ball. And honestly, through two games, it seems to have helped, you know, only allowing teams to 10.5 points per game. A huge improvement from where they were last season. Um, granted, that number is only going to rise here in the next few weeks because, you know, Two games is a very small sample size, um, but this team's just got some great young pass rushers to lean on. And on top of that, just a very young defense with just a lot of unproven talent that I think can you'll make a splash. And let's be honest, through two games is already making um, somewhat of a splash for this Texans team. Well, you know, the Tyrod Taylor news is definitely going to hurt this team in the long run um, for this game specifically. I don't know what the the, the overall impact is going to be. You know, this team's been able to put up 29 points per game through the first two. Um, obviously, I think that that number is going to continue to come down here um but you know this texans team has a very strong run game you know mark ingram david johnson philip Lindsay, three backs who can all take a pretty big workload and who can all do a bunch of damage i would expect you know without taylor here with mills as the quarterback um we see a pretty heavy emphasis on the run game here in this one um and the defense in the browns game for this texans team really kept them in the game end up losing by 20 um but this defense is not horrible you know they've only allowed 21 points per game um through the first two games and really for the texans while they're not necessarily the strongest team in the world, they don't have the best roster in the world, they feel like a team that is somehow going to be able to keep games close while the wall of all be it losing, but maybe covering a few spreads along the way, um, which is why I'm very hesitant to bet on the Panthers. I absolutely just want to nail the Panthers minus seven and a half here and, and forget about it and just go watch Sam Darnold cook in the game. But while the amount of people I've seen on this Panthers, I really haven't seen anyone on the Texans, if we're being quite honest, just really scares me off this Panthers team. You know, to having to take the hook there at minus seven and a half, I don't love either. And I'm not really one for, for buying it down to seven. That's not really, I don't think it's really worth it in the long run, uh, in my opinion. But for this Panthers team, and really just for both these teams, I think this is going to be really just a shootout. The two teams are just going to have two defenses that can do a pretty good job stopping each other. And I think it's just going to be a very low scoring affair. No idea who ends up winning the game. I mean, obviously, I think the Panthers are going to win, but Nick has no idea who ends up covering the game. Um, but really, I do think it's a low scoring game. I like the under 44 here in this one. That is it for Thursday Night Football. If you want to see some more sports betting content, head over to hottobets.com. Got NFL, college football, MLB, as well as the UFC coming up this weekend. So definitely take a look at all of that. If you're not already following me at Hot to Best Chris on Twitter and Instagram, make sure you follow me there as well as on the Best Stamp app. You can get early access to all of the picks. Also, follow the Hot to Best main account on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, as well as if you're watching here on YouTube, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notifications so you don't miss out on any future content. Most importantly, drop a comment down below. Let me know who you guys are betting on here in Thursday Night Football. And thanks for watching today's show. I will see you guys tomorrow.